In this video, I'm going to give you some inking tips. Interior design students often use ink pens to make presentation drawings. This is a set of non-disposable pens. Call that because you fill them up with ink and when they run out, you fill it with more ink. Disposable pens are basically felt tips. Now, they all have numbers on the caps that those numbers tell you the size of the tip in millimeters and its diameter. And you have a bunch of different sizes here so that you can employ line weight on the drawing. As for line weight, the walls are always the thickest, fixtures are thinner, glazing in the window symbol and the swings on doors are the thinnest. You really only need three pens to do a simple plan like this. If you use more, it's a good practice to skip the numbers on them. That is, don't use adjacent numbers for thickest, thinner, and thinnest, because adjacent numbers may not give you the visibility of different line weights that you need. So, with a disposable set of pens, how this works is you take it apart, this is the ink reservoir, and you just fill it. Don't fill it with more ink than you're going to use in one session because you'll need to throw it out when you clean the pens. Also, you need to hear the pen rattling. Rattling means that the pen is not clogged. So I'm going to show you some tips now for inking. I'm going to place this paper over the plan, line it up with the T-square, tape it down. And now I'll do some tracing. Some drafters tape long strips of tape underneath their triangles, and that lifts the triangle up a little bit above the paper, which helps prevent the ink from bleeding underneath. Some people tape coins onto the underside to do the same thing. Now I recommend starting out by inking all the vertical lines, start at the right, and move left because that way ink lines will dry while you're still able to work. See that? As I move the triangle over, these lines get a chance to dry while I'm inking more. Oops. Well, that's unfortunate, but I'm going to keep going. And there's another piece of advice I have on inking, and that's when you have a mistake like this, just keep going and then evaluate when you're done if you need to do the whole thing over. So anyhow, here, I'm inking the verticals and these are all drying. Then I'll do the same thing with the horizontals. I will start at the top and I'll work my way down so that the top ones can dry while I'm still inking more. So 
So what about using templates? When you want to use a furniture template, draw a light pencil line in the floor plan about a sixteenth of an inch away from the ink line, or that is, away from the wall. You shouldn't butt the furniture up right against the wall. And then find the item you want to trace. And here I'm going to trace this love seat. Hold it down a little away from the template. That is, don't hold it real close to it, because if you do that, the ink bleeds under the template. Instead, hold it lightly away, just enough to keep it in place. and then trace. This is the edge of the couch and I need to move that in and line it up. And then draw the line for the seats. And you use all your templates like this. For example, maybe I want to draw a table over here. So I'm going to lightly hold it down over here so that there's a little bit of space between the template and the paper. And then trace and then the ink isn't as, lightly, as likely to smear. That's unfortunate. I would probably do the assignment over just because of that. And there you have it.